All right, in this video, we're going to look at angles in the coordinate plane just to familiarize ourselves with um, some terminology and things dealing with angles in mathematics. So, first of all, let me draw the coordinate plane, the real coordinate plane. And angles in the coordinate plane are always measured from the positive x axis, so we always start here. So we start at the positive x-axis, and positive angles are measured counterclockwise, and negative angles are measured clockwise. Okay? So let's, uh, let's get some experience with this. So if I were to draw positive 200 degrees, I would start at the positive x-axis. I would rotate 200 degrees, so here's 90 here's 180 and I'd have to rotate 20 more and I'd end about right here now where we end uh, we draw a line from the center the origin to there and that is what we call a terminal side so the side where the angle ends is called the terminal side terminal means end and more specifically if I draw a point anywhere on this line then that point is what we could call a terminal point. All right. So the angle is 200 degrees. We have the terminal point. We have the terminal side. Now I want to draw negative 1,000 degrees. So I start at the positive x-axis. I rotate one full revolution. That's negative 360. Another one is negative 720. So there's two full revolutions, so I'm at negative 720 right now. And then plus 90, so that's negative 810, plus a negative, another 90, it's negative 900, plus another 90 is negative 990, and then another 10 degrees puts me at negative 1000, with my terminal side being from my origin to the ending, and any point on the line could be a terminal point. Now I want to draw an angle that has a terminal point of 1, 4. So 1 is x, 4 is y, so here's our terminal point. So as soon as I have a terminal point, I can easily draw my terminal side by going from the origin through that point. So the angle, in this case, from the positive x-axis is there, or if that's in the positive direction, or if I want to measure it in the negative direction, I could consider this angle. Angles that have the same terminal side are called coterminal. Coterminal angles. They end at the same place. Let's see some examples of that. 20 degrees and 380 degrees are coterminal. If I draw 20 degrees, I'm going to rotate 20 degrees off of my x axis, and I get this terminal side. If I measure 380 degrees, positive x-axis, rotate 360, and then I need to rotate another 20 more, I end up at the exact same terminal side. So those two angles are coterminal. What if the, is there a negative angle that's also coterminal with these? So what angle would I need if I want to measure in the negative direction and land at the same spot? Well, I'm 20 degrees shy of 360. So negative 340 degrees is also coterminal with these angles, and there are many more if you continue to rotate. 